Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the new Psalmonic range of microphones, wireless audio transmitters, and lavaliers. I met the Psalmonic guys at NAB this year. They had all these new products and I said, oh, well, tell me a little bit about them. And the guy working there, Jesse, said, oh, I'll just send them to you and you can check them out yourself. So uh, here we are. Um, the new range consists of a very cool wireless uh, mic pack, the Transmitter TX9, the um, TX XLR9, and the RX XLR9. And these are XLR um, transmitters and receivers. So essentially they take the place of an XLR cable. And this very long condenser super cardioid microphone, the SRTM7. So we'll start with the mic packs. Almost everyone needs a wireless lavalier on their film shoot, um, but but once you start adding um, multiple inputs, it can get overwhelming pretty fast. Um, Sumonic have solved this by having a stereo pack that transmit to a single receiver. So you have two of these, I'm wearing one, the other one is what you can hear, and they become the left and right channel of a single receiver on the um, other end. Because lav microphones are mono, there's only one of them, you can transmit this into the left and right channel of a stereo signal. The pack on the other end then puts that into the respective channels um, of your recorder and you're able to get two labs, the left and right, onto a single stereo signal on your camera. So if you're shooting DSLRs, these are absolute lifesaver. If you're shooting XLR, like I am on the C200, you're able to break them apart and put them into separate um, XLR inputs and then control the levels independently. It's a real boon for independent filmmakers um, who want to have two labs and a shotgun microphone without a mixer at all. It can all go straight into the camera and you can have a pretty complete audio setup um, with, you know, out a dedicated sound mixer. They were totally plug and play for me. I turned it on, they were synced up, the sound sounded great. They can also link via IR, so they can, uh, infrared, they can sync to one another um, with line of sight. If you're in the market for a dual lav pack and you don't wanna pay the $700 um, that Sennheiser or Sony charge, um, these are a really cool alternative. Moving on, we have um, the TX XLR pack. So instead of an XLR cable between your um, shotgun or, or whatever microphone you have, you can plug this into one end and this into your camera and suddenly uh, you're beaming XLR stereo through the air. So you can use a mic like the SRTM7 here, plug your receiver into one end. Now you just plug this into your camera and now you're getting sound um, from your microphone. These guys both run on AA batteries. Um, like the lav kit, they have infrared synchrosia, that's what it's called, uh, where they um, link up with one another without having to actually set the frequencies. And uh, they give you really good audio without having to have an XLR cable. Something I was particularly interested to find um, on the receiver, because the XLR port on different cameras in different places, this actually rotates 360 degrees. So once you plug it into your camera, um, you can find the best uh, arrangement for it, so it's not gonna get in the way. So the XLR transmitter receivers aren't much good without a microphone. This guy is actually, can be run on both phantom power or an internal lithium ion battery. If you look through the um, XLR port at the bottom, it has a little uh, USB plug. You plug that into um, computer or power and you can charge this. It will last 150 hours off a single charge. So it might be something that you judge every six months. The reason that this mic is so long, it's a super cardioid pattern. Um, so it's very directional. It also has two different stages of high pass filter, um, low pass filter, a minus 10 decibel pad and a plus six decibel boost. This will give you pretty awesome directional um, sound from couple of meters or what is that six feet away so if you for some reason you're doing a wide shot you can't get your um, boom mic close to the character who's speaking um, you can pick up pretty great sound from pretty far away as far as best practices go if you really want to get great audio for your films and documentaries you should have both of these things you should have someone wear a lav pack 
and also have a shotgun microphone um, on a stand or being held by uh, someone swinging a boom so that uh, if the lav gets muffled like this or the boom um, isn't usable for some reason, you can get between the two of them and get the best audio, or you can combine the two signals um, for a much richer, fuller sound. Now, this stuff is very competitively priced. Um, I'll leave links in the description um, so you can see what it's worth at different places, but it's significantly cheaper than the industry standards and definitely has comparable quality. That's my look at the new Summonic range. Thank you very much for Summonic for sending it out. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of use from this. Uh, I really appreciate it. They really have upped their game as far as um, the quality, the build, um, the audio coming out of these boxes. So if you're a new filmmaker um, or looking to get into audio, uh, this is a really good place to start. Thanks very much for watching. Um, links, of course, to all this stuff in the description. Leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.